Imagine you're building a giant tower out of blocks. You carefully stack each piece, making sure it stands tall. But what if one of the lower blocks starts cracking? Or what if the whole thing starts leaning? Even though nothing is pushing on it from the outside, something is happening inside the structure. That's because forces don't just come from the outside, they can come from inside a structure too. Internal forces are the pushes and pulls that happen inside a structure. These forces can change the shape of a structure, weaken it, or even make it collapse. Even though you can't always see these forces, they're always there, working inside buildings, bridges, and even your own body. When you press on a spring and let go, it bounces back into shape. That's because of compression, an internal force that happens when something is squeezed or pressed together. Now imagine stretching a rubber band. The more you pull, the more it stretches. That's called tension, an internal force that happens when something is pulled apart. Compression and tension are at work in almost every structure around you. Think about a bridge. When cars drive over it, the top of the bridge gets squeezed by compression, while the bottom stretches from tension. If a bridge isn't built properly, these forces can cause cracks or even make it collapse. Engineers have to carefully design structures to handle both of these forces. But those aren't the only forces inside a structure. If you take a wet towel and twist it, the fabric tightens and pulls in different directions. That's torsion, a twisting force. Torsion is a big deal in things like roller coasters, where the tracks twist and turn to high speeds. If the structure isn't strong enough, torsion can cause it to break apart. Then there's shear, which happens when parts of a structure slide in opposite directions. Imagine holding a stack of papers and pushing the top one to the side. The paper bends and might even tear. That's shear. In buildings, shear forces can be dangerous because they can cause walls or floors to shift and break. Internal forces don't just affect buildings. Your own body deals with them too. When you run or jump, your bones handle compression with every step. When you stretch, your muscles experience tension. If you twist your ankle, that's torsion at work. And when you bend your knee, sheer forces help move your legs smoothly. Even though we don't always think about them, internal forces are everywhere. Engineers and builders need to understand how these forces work so they can create safe, strong structures that won't fall apart. Next time you push, pull, twist, or bend something, think about the invisible forces at work inside.